Look at this grilled shrimp, you guys. Wow. Mmm. Really good. I have this theory that all hot girls love soup. You know it's good when we start doing the happy girl dance. Tui, where can you find incredible Vietnamese food in New York City? Well, I'm here for a couple days, and my friends have actually told me about this really great place in Manhattan called Mum, and we have to try it. You ready to go? Definitely, let's do it. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, it's Tui, and I'm here at Rec Team, and I'm really excited to eat some Vietnamese food at Mum today. So. Let's get into it. Earlier this year, you performed in Vietnam for the very first time. What was that experience like for you? Ooh, that experience was the coolest thing. And fun fact, when my dad found out that I was gonna be performing in Vietnam, he booked a ticket and he didn't tell me until the last minute. But that was really, really cool for my dad to come back and see all the fans sing the lyrics back to me. For my dad to be able to see that was such a cool moment. How did the food in Vietnam differ from the Vietnamese food you might find in the oh, States? I have not been able to find pho as good as the pho I had in Vietnam. To be honest with you, it was probably one of the most amazing experiences of my life. The chili peppers that they have out there is just totally different. I, I can't even explain it, but if you have never been to Vietnam, you need to go book a ticket and go eat all the food. Thank you. Okay. So, so club Salad. Love. Uh, it's spicy, so be careful. Uh, this is a uh, cacao nung chấm. Oh Anchovies. Anchovies, yes. The food is out. I'm so excited to try this. I really want to try the fried anchovies because I love anchovies. I feel like I'm living my food influencer life right now. Here we go. Wow. Mmm really good. You guys want to try it? Oh, no. Look at this fried anchovy. Let's try this lamb salad. Whoa. Mm. The great part about this is it reminds me of the things that my dad would eat when he's drinking with his friends. We have this thing at family parties. It's called Nyo. You drink beer and then basically just have a spread of appetizers. Look at this grilled shrimp, you guys. Look how big and juicy this is. Some people eat the shell. Normally, I don't eat the shell, but today I'm gonna do it for you guys. Mm. Mm. Holy shit, that is spicy. Woo. You had a breakout hit last year with the song Girls Like Me Don't Cry. Is there a movie or a song that is guaranteed to make you cry every <laughs> oh, single no. time you put it on? You're, you are exposing me right now. I'm not the type of person that can watch movies over and over and over again, but there is one movie that I watch literally once a year. It's called A Cinderella Story with Hilary Duff in it. And I cry every single time. I don't know what it is. Anything that's just like love or romance or like a coming of age story, I just instantly cry. People might be surprised to learn that you were on your high school wrestling team. What's one wrestling move everyone should know? In junior high, all my cousins and my brothers started wrestling. So I was like, oh, I want to wrestle too. And I remember my first match, I got folded like a taco by this guy. And I, I got off the mat crying, but I was like, I'm gonna keep going, because I love this. And I ended up being really good at it. For anyone who doesn't know, I am a two-time NCS champion, and I was sixth in state. But my favorite move that everybody should know is the fireman's. That's a really good one. You get them on the ground, a little arm bar, and then you figure four. Anybody who knows. But yeah, fun fact, I did wrestle. And it was the best thing that I ever did for myself because it helped me so much with mental toughness. Pickleball, ah! overrated or underrated? Oh my God. Underrated, are you kidding me? I don't want to say this, but I, I damn near love it more than music. The pickleball court that I go to, is it's a mixed community. So there'll be like younger kids and there'll be like, women in their 70s and you're just like playing against them and it doesn't matter. It's like no mercy. I'm gonna slam this wiffle ball on you and I don't care. I love your questions. Thank you. This is great. 
also this oh. in Oh my god. So clam noodle soups. Wow. So this is the snail sausage. Wow. This is the clam sausage with the how much tofu. So this is called Bunhen and it's basically like clams with vermicelli noodles. But the test that we are gonna do right now is to taste the broth. So let's see. Whoa. That is so good. Mmm. Mmm. This is gonna get messy. Here we go. I have this theory that all hot girls love soup. Prove me wrong. Ooh, this, okay, this is a fried tofu. Let me try the fried tofu. Here we go. You know it's good when we start doing the happy girl dance. And final question. You know, you try this spot for the first time. Do you recommend this restaurant? It's a 10 out of 10. If you haven't ever been to Vietnam, but you live in New York City, come to Mum. You feel like you're in Vietnam. Even the stools, the stools are like so reminiscent of Vietnam. This whole place is so balanced and nothing is like too salty or like overpowering. It just works so well together. Oh my god. If you guys are in New York, make sure you guys go check out Mum. It has become one of my favorites. And make sure you guys check out my music if you haven't already. I just released a little EP called Don't Miss Me Too Much. Um, and don't miss me too much. We are working on an album, so I'll see you soon.